Hello, I'm Hijaz. I'm here to show you another tutorial of Microsoft Visual Studio. Well, if you find your program is too simple, then you can customize your program by animating it. But you know, Visual Studio is does not provide any animation and it's too hard to import an animation into Visual Studio. So, today I'm going to show you a trick in which you can animate a particular picture box in Visual Studio. Now, let's open Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project. Let me name it as YouTube Tutorial. Okay, the project will be simple because I just want you to know the customization of the picture box. And let's insert a picture box. Then go to Project, YouTube Tutorials, and shift to Resources now we store down your window and I have two images which I need to animate so one image is this a uh, closed folder well when I move the cursor onto the closed folder I want it to pop and open up so for that I have another image similar to this which is open a folder which is opened now I'm going to drag and drop these two images S sorry these two images into Visual Studio and one closed folder and another open folder in the middle there was some screen resolution problem sorry about that okay now go back to the design and now what I'm going to do is that just I'm going to select the picture box and I'm just going to import an image to this picture box as default so that the user at first find the picture when he wants the program so let it be the closed folder okay and now just double click on the picture box and here it is private sub picture box one underscore click and handles picture box one dot click I want the picture to change when I hover the mouse onto the picture box so select here scroll down and select mouse hover okay now we shall start with the code pa coding part just watch the code is dim space image one as bitmap is the space is equal to space my dot resources dot closed sorry open underscore folder okay dim image one as bitmap we are introducing image one as a bitmap image and the image is in my resources the name of the image is open folder okay in the second line picture box 
one dot image is equal to image one now that's it for the mouse hover now when we leave the mouse when we take the cursor from the picture box we need the picture back the closed folder picture back onto the picture box so what we are going to going to do for that is click over here and select mouse leave the code for this is dim image 2 as bitmap space is equal to space my dot resources dot closed folder now the second line picture box one dot image is equal to image two now this open folder here and this closed folder is the name of the images which I have here in my resources so just enter the name according to the name it's given in the resources now that's done and now we have done the animation with four lines of coding and just two images now let's check by debugging it okay here is our form and I'm just going to move the cursor onto the picture box onto the icon see here this black folder so there it goes the closed black folder just pops out and opens when we move the cursor onto the folder onto the image you can see so that's a kind of animation you can see there so as the user use user just move the cursor onto the picture it pops out and opens and he just really thinks that it's a kind of animation look at that okay that's it now you should try this and this will really help your project to look more attractive for the user thanks for watching this video bye